Preseason basketball is upon us next on Conversations. Hello and welcome to Conversations. I'm your host, Jeannie Curtis. John Nelson had an opportunity to talk with all 12 varsity high school basketball coaches. All right, Jeannie, thank you very much. We begin with Seguin. Bobby Thigpen is in his fifth year. Courtney Phillips is in her eighth year at Seguin High School. Courtney, 21 wins last year. Outstanding season. Your expectations uh, this year? Thank you. Um, we expect to be back in the hunt again this year. We have uh, seven returning uh, varsity players, three starters coming back, and have a great freshman class coming in. So we anticipate to be right in there with Summit this year. And the district should be as tough as it ever is. Yes, Summit has everybody returning their regional finalist. Um, so the good thing is state champions Canyon lost eight seniors and they went undefeated last year. So um, we're anticipating a good year. We've just got to, you know, get our volleyball players uh, as soon as they get done with the playoffs, their playoff run, and uh, get started on basketball here in six days. All right, tell me about the tournament you have uh, down in the valley this year. It's fun. Um, we've done it two or three times. We go to McAllen, Texas. We fly down there, and it's important because we get six games. Um, a lot of tournaments you only get four or five games, so uh, we get our volleyball players late, and so getting into the season and getting them down there um, and getting to play six games is a good experience for us. Bobby, a heartbreaking loss last year to Fort Worth Southwest by one point. Uh, the carryover effect, how do you see things uh, this year? Well, in the beginning of school, we uh, we had a meeting and uh, we talked about last year and our goals and you know how far we went and you know we have higher expectations this year and uh, losing that heartbreaker was kind of a disappointment to us. We thought we should have went three rounds deep and uh, it just didn't happen for whatever reason and so hopefully this year we can go a little bit further. You have an exciting player, Marcus Frazier, uh, runs the floor very well for you. Yeah, he's a he's a crafty little kid, and uh, he's very very good with the basketball. He distributes the ball well, and he's a great team player. Uh, I just wish he can be a little bit more vocal as a point guard for me. But uh, he's a great kid, great player, and really really expect big things from him. Does the season start about right too soon when you juggle everything at the at the end of the football season, the beginning of basketball? Well, if you had asked me that question two or three years ago, I would say yes. But now I have uh, there's nine of my guys in off-season basketball, and we're getting to see them every day for at least an hour for workout. So uh, I think we're progressing pretty good right now, and we're right where we want to be. So uh, we're playing pretty well. One final question for each of you, Courtney. The district should be as tough as it always is on the girls' side. How soon will you know that you have a pretty decent team? Um. Probably after our second tournament, we should have a pretty good idea, which our second tournament ends right as we're getting ready to start our first district game. And we have Summit first district game right off the bat. I think it's December 13th. So, um, and of course our preseason is tough. We've scheduled all five A's and uh, we've got, you know, Mesquite Horn, West Mesquite, Trinity, Skyline, Arlington Bowie, I and mean, we've got a tough preseason schedule. So we should know pretty quickly how well we're gonna do. Bobby, what about yourself? What about the tournaments you have, the team entered, and uh, how soon will you know that the guys should have been doing the things they should be doing to get uh, ready for the season? Well, we have uh, Arlington Classic the first weekend of December, and we have a pretty heavy slate in it this year. We have all four Arlington, four Arlington schools and uh, Cedar Hill DeSoto's in it this year. We have Lincoln in it. Uh, Brian College Station's coming down, so it's a bitty be a very tough tournament so we, uh, if you can win this one you, you, you know you're on the, you, on the up and up you know you should be going you know where you need to be and uh, we're also going to Cedar Hill we've got a tournament there the second week of December and then at Christmas time we go down to Humble for a tournament in the Houston area and it's a very good tournament as well and just to see a little different part of the state you know we want to go down there and kind of hide a little bit before district you know so it's, be pretty good for us. Well, we appreciate both of you for coming down, and the best of luck to Seguin this year. Thank you. Brooke Benton is in her second year at Arlington Martin. Jeff Plemons is in year number nine. And Brooke, I know that you have an outstanding floor leader in Amanda Barnes. Uh, averaged something like six, six assists per game last year. 
What do you expect out of her this season and around her? She always brings fire and passion to the court. She averaged 13.1 points a game last year, consistently takes care of the ball, leader on the floor, very vocal. Just expect the same things out of her this year. Okay, what about senior leadership? Um, Amanda Barnes and then Bethany Gonzalez is also our other captain. Um, she was injured all last season, but she's a great leader on the floor, and we're, we're glad to have her back this year. Jeff, I know that you've always relied on uh, not one, but two good guards to set your offense. What about the senior leadership uh, this year? Oh, we've got some great senior leadership. Uh, we've got returning uh, point guard Austin Durham coming back, and then our leading scorer, Miles Johnson, uh, is finally a senior. It seems like he's been here for quite a while, but uh, he, we're looking for great things from those two guys. And then we've got, some, just, we've got a good, solid group of seniors with R.J. Salter and uh, Cameron Craig contributing along the way. That was the thing last year, wasn't it, for you, Jeff, if Miles Johnson could have been healthy the entire season? It definitely affected us, but when, once we got him back and his finger was healed up, we got hot at the end of the year, and, and we just had a lot of different guys contribute uh, as we headed into the playoffs. You went two rounds deep last year. That second loss, uh, how far do you think you could have gone had you advanced past the second round? You know, if, if we'd have won that second round game, we would have came back to Arlington and, and, and gotten to play Bowie a third time. And just, just for our kids to get to experience the atmosphere that that game would have provided the city of Arlington, uh, it would have been something that would have lasted with them for a lifetime. I, I, honestly, I think we would have had a really good chance to maybe get to the regional tournament if things would have worked out. But uh, they didn't, and, and we've got high goals going into this year. Brooke, what about uh, your expectations? I know your junior varsity last year uh, in the district, kind of up and down, but uh, for the most part, what do you expect uh, out of your squad this year? I expect us to come in rolling as just like we did last year and looking to compete in a strong district. We've got a very young squad, um, brought about three freshmen up right now in varsity, and they're young, but they're going hard every day. And and getting better every day. So as long as we mature quickly, then I expect good things this year. That has to be exciting for you as a coach to see the freshmen really mature if they really stick with this game. Right. I'm looking forward to it. What about your tournaments this year? Uh, we're going to Austin again this year, which is always a good, you know, there's a lot of good competition down there. We'll be in Mansfield Rotary again, and then we're at the uh, Northeast Lions Club tournament again this year. Jeff, what about the... Uh the guys, what tournaments do you have the team entered? We'll host our Spring Creek Barbecue Thanksgiving Classic again. This will be the uh, 21st year that we've, we've hosted that tournament and that uh, Spring Creek has been gracious enough to sponsor it. Uh, then we're going to head out to Midland, uh, get out to West Texas, let the guys get away and, and, and do some team building and bonding on a road trip. And then uh, we'll come back at Christmas and play in the Whataburger Tournament. How do you see the district from top to bottom this year? Uh, I see it about as even as it's been. There's, there's a lot of good teams. Uh, even though a lot of people graduated some really good players, uh, the district's just chock full of good coaches and it's good players. And I think you're going to see very competitive basketball night in and night out. Brooke, on the girls' side, is it imperative for Martin to get off to a fast district start or just kind of hang to the top? No, it's imperative that we take care of business from the start. Um, everybody's, everybody's improved this year. I've, I've seen good things out of Weatherford. Pascal, all the teams that, that were, um, you know, we, we handled pretty easily last year are going to be difficult, so we're going to have to jump on every game. How is it for you entering your second year? I know it was kind of hectic last year, but uh, the transition hitting into year number two. I'm excited. I, I'm starting to understand the girls and what makes them tick, so understanding my leadership a little bit better. Um, we're rolling with a new offense. It's just, it's a really exciting time. Jeff, any advice for someone? Uh, early in their career to uh, to get things going or is it, it's never easy I know Oh, coach does a good job she's got the girls working and, and she's really instilled a lot of discipline in them and uh, you know I would I would just tell her stick to your guns and, and believe in what you're doing and then I see her doing that and I you know they had a great year last year I wouldn't expect anything less from her because she demands it it's always exciting at Martin best of luck to uh, Martin this year appreciate thank it you. thank you John All right and we are with Lamar. Erin Levels is in her fifth year. Zach Burks is in year number three, heading the Lamar Viking program. Erin, I'll turn to you first. Uh, you have Elizabeth Spence coming back as soon as volleyball is over with. The nucleus of your squad this year is centered around whom, or is it just a whole group? I have a group of five returning uh, seniors this year. Elizabeth Spence, Janae Keys, Brooke Grant, Bernaya Medlock and Alex White, and they're all going to be uh, returning this year. 
When you look back over last season, 23 wins, that, uh, that's tremendous at Lamar. Yes, we tied the school record last year for wins. Uh, at the end of the season last year, our goal was to come back and to go a little further in the playoffs than we did this year and to beat the record. So that's our goal going into this season. Zach just missed the playoffs last year. The district, the final two weeks for you in the district was, uh, it was a nail biter. It, it was it was a nail biter, and uh, and uh, it came down to, uh, between uh, uh, Martin and us, and uh, that that overtime loss uh, that that really really hurt us uh, last year. All right, I know you have DeQuan Thomas and Shane Allen. Uh, yes. What about the rest of your squad this year that you're really going to uh, need to come through? Well, I tell you what, uh, we're we're going to be young uh, right now. Uh, DeQuan and Shane are in football. And I'm really looking forward to, to getting them back. But I, I do want them to do well in football, uh, trying to bring, bring some young guys along. And hopefully um, they're, they're ready to uh, help us this year. What about your uh, tournament schedule uh, this season? What do you have well, the girls entered? This season we'll be playing out at Flower Mound, uh, Marcus, where we went last year. We'll play in the Coca-Cola tournament out in Fort Worth. And we've replaced our Christmas tournament uh, because we did so well. We've been invited to play in the Rotary. So we'll play in the Mansfield Rotary during the Christmas this year. All right, Zach. What about uh, on the boys' side? What tournaments are you in? Uh, we're our, uh, we're we're going to uh, Cedar Hill this year. Uh, that's that's something new uh, for us. It'll it'll be a really good tournament. Uh, had a chance to experience that uh, uh, some years back. So I, I really like that tournament. And uh, we're going back again to uh, the Coca-Cola uh, tournament in Fort Worth. Uh, during uh, uh, the Christmas break. So I, I really enjoy that tournament, a real, real good tournament. I know it's hard to replace a Cannon Cunningham. Very but, hard. But, uh, <laughs> boy, he really lighted it up last year for you. Yeah, he did. Uh, actually, I was uh, talking to some of the other coaches, and I was telling them I get really depressed when I don't see that 6'9", you know, ducking coming uh, in the locker room uh, this year. But, um, but, hey, we have to move on. Uh, like I said, we have young guys. Uh, we're... We, you know, we don't, we're not going to have that height to have him back there this year, so uh, we're going to have to do, do some things different. So, um, you know, the guard play has to, has to be a lot better. Uh, going to have to find a, a, a score somewhere. And uh, so this, this, you know, preseason uh, during our scrimmages, we'll be, we'll be looking, you know, see who, who's going to step up. I know the summer went by in a flash, and the fall is going uh, uh, quick enough. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the season? Uh, does it start uh, soon enough, or would you like another uh, uh, week to ten days? I personally, right now, I would like uh, maybe you know maybe a little some extra days because we are so young, and uh, and and it's it's almost uh, it's almost like starting all over again. You know, start from scratch. You know, trying to develop uh, develop the young guys and. And just just trying to trying to define and and see what our team is going to be. Who you know our you know get an identity. So um, you know the time the time would be good you know to kind of work on some things. But um, but you know hey it'll it'll be here before we know it. So uh, I know they they you know they are next week and uh, we're a week after. So it's it's upon us. Aaron, how do you feel about it? And what do you really need to work on the uh, first week of the season? Well, uh, I think that. It's time. We're ready to play. We've uh, been in the off season, uh, doing the same type things, working on some rebounding. Uh, that's going to be important for us this year, trying to replace Troy Ferris, uh, her presence on the court. And so we've been spending a lot of time on rebounding and a lot of time on making us free throws, <laughs> uh, and then just playing with intensity throughout the whole game. You know, uh, it's seven seniors, so the bench uh, is going to be inexperienced besides those seven. So those seven have to be prepared to play the full game. Let me ask both of you, uh, what do you like about uh, coaching and teaching at Lamar? Um, I'll, I'll go first, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, ladies first. <laughs> okay. Well, I really like uh, the atmosphere uh, of the children and the staff and um, the teachers. It's like a family. Uh, we have such a variety of kids from uh, economic diversity uh, and just personality. Uh, we have a, the school spirit's high right now. I guess it always has been since I've been there. Uh, football season, volleyball, a lot of the kids go to all sports. They support basketball, they support baseball, everything. Uh, FCA, the kids are all involved in a lot of different things. They're well-rounded students. 
and uh, I think the faculty is well-rounded too. Zach, the best thing about uh, coaching at Lamar is you've been around the district. Yes. Well, uh, I tell you what, number one, uh, uh, our principal, I, I think our principal is, uh, he's, he's great. And, uh, and then his, uh, his assistant principals, they, they're all great. So uh, really, really love working with the administrative staff. And, uh, and uh, this young lady right here, she, she, she's a great lady, you know, coworker to, to work with. Uh, you know, uh, you know it's, I, I've been in some places that where, um, you know, on the girl's side and boy's side, you know, they kind of, they can clash a little bit. And, uh, you know, you have to work around gyms and schedules and things like that. So uh, she's a great person to work with, and uh, we, hey, we have no problems. Yeah. And uh, so, um, that, you know, that's great. Uh, the kids, uh, the kids are great. Like I said, we have a variety of kids. Mm -hmm. So, um, but they, they're great. And uh, uh, the, group, the group that I do have, they're, they're a young group, but, uh, but again, they, they, they work hard and they want to work. And that's, yeah. hey, that's, that's that's half the battle, right? That's there. all you can ask for yeah. a coachable group, right? right. So, uh, so that that makes it that makes it uh, you know worthwhile. You know, when when you see that they want to work and and they're trying to do uh, the things you, uh, that you know uh, you want them to do. Aaron, Zach, best of luck to both of you this year at Lamar. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We're with Tiffany Barlow in her first year at Sam Houston, Dante Wilson in year number four. Tiffany, you come over to Sam Houston from Seguin. Talk about the transition and uh, what it's been like for you so far. Um, well, it's, it's, it's different. I mean, you're used to being the worker behind the scenes, and now, you know, you're just you're out in the front and you're, you're doing everything. you got to take care of your assistants. you got to take care of the kids. And so, you know, the workload has increased, but I enjoy it. What have you learned about your uh, team so far? That they just they want to work hard, you know, and they they want to be given the opportunity to be become winners. Dante, uh, Derek uh, Roseman was pretty solid for you last year, but you have a good looking junior at uh, six four that uh, could do some big things for you. Well, we hope so. Uh, he's he's working hard right now, and and we are looking forward to him doing some big things for us. That's Dustin Christopher. Dustin Christopher. Yeah. How do you see your backcourt and uh, the guys up front? Well, hopefully they've improved enough, or I've done a good enough job with them over the uh, the spring and uh, you know open gyms and uh, heck, hopefully we've done a good job on our part in, in getting them where they need to be, and we'll see. That's to to be determined. I guess we never really know until you know those lights come on and uh, those officials are out there blowing those whistles. What was the main thing on the front burner for you this spring, Tiffany? Well, for me, um, I really came in in August. So, you know, my girls, I had to come in with Open Gym and start there with those girls because, you know, they didn't know me. And so I just came into the school, hit the ground running, opening the gyms after school and letting the girls come in and work out. What has been the toughest thing? Where we are, Sam, if they don't know you, it's hard. They're like, I'm not sure, <coughs> you know, if you're somebody I want to get to know or, or not. But, you know, it's worked out well. Well, as they say, there are no strangers in the halls at Sam Houston yes. High School. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dante, what about your uh, pre-district schedule this year? What kind of tournaments uh, will you play? Um, it, it'll definitely be a little easier than last time, uh, last go around. We won't have, we got DeSoto and South Oak Cliff off there, so that'll help us some. Um, the tournaments are the same. We're going to play in the Arlington Classic, and then um, uh, that's, we'll play in one other tournament, the Cedar Hill Tournament, and that's about it as far as tournaments go. All right, who do you see stepping up for you this year? Uh, hopefully the guy that got um, co-newcomer of the year in Wendell Washington, who was a freshman last year, who will be a sophomore. So hopefully he'll, he'll keep doing what he's been doing. What are his strengths or uh, that you can see over the last year? Shooting the basketball. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, it goes in and sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully uh, on more nights, uh, it, or on most nights, it goes in. <laughs> Tiffany, sometimes it can always be a guessing game, but... Uh, who will you rely on uh, this year? Who do you see that's made a lot of improvement? Um, well, it looks like my post player, Tamara Eady. I think she's going to, um, she wants it. She's a senior. This is her last year, and she just wants to go out with a bang, and so she's working pretty hard. All right, Tiffany, Dante, good luck to uh, the Texans this year. Thank, Thank you. you. We're with Arlington High's B.J. Kaiser in her second year, and David Clyde, the dean of the AISD coaches, and the Colts last year won 25 games, advanced uh, in the playoffs, and 
David Jordan Forrester and Sheldon Bailey, good one-two punch for you last season. What do you have uh, to look forward to this year? Well, we'll definitely miss, miss those senior kids, but uh, we have a, a good nucleus of junior kids that have come up. Um, we have one senior returning from last year's varsity, uh, Brandon Bells, a five foot five junior, uh, senior rather, uh, who will give us a spark. Um, then we had two other kids that played a uh, limited amount of time on the varsity last year. Winston Canterbury and Devon Anderson are both in the 6'3", six, 6'4", six, range. And so we're going to be counting heavily on them as well as working some of the uh, returning kids from the JV from last year. You had some guys last year that could really step out and, and shoot the three. We sure did. Uh, that was one of our strengths, but we, we were also strong inside, which uh, gave us uh, the, the balance that just about any coach would be looking for. And so uh, I'm not sure that we'll be able to duplicate that, though we have some kids that uh, I think are, will be capable of uh, making the three, but certainly we're not going to rely on that too heavily this year. BJ, who excites you uh, early for the Lady Colts? I'm definitely Georgia Beatty. She is a sophomore this year, and uh, she came in and was a big influence for us in the post last year. So that is somebody that we'll definitely be looking, you know, to to run our basketball team. I also have two seniors that um, are our floor captains, Ashley Redwine and Brittany, uh, Whitney Britton, excuse me. What has it been like for you transition-wise in the second year? Things have gone, I'm sure, a little smoother. Oh, a lot smoother, actually. You know, the kids are learning the system. They, You know, it was all new to them last year. So it's a little, you know, we flow a little bit more this year. I think, you know, they know what I want, what I don't like, and things like that. So I think it's been much better this year. Any changes in the coaching staff, same assistants? Or any? Same assistants. Uh, Coach Newsom is my varsity assistant, and then my two freshman coaches, same. All right. What tournaments do you have the Lady Colts entered this year? We are actually in the um, Grand Prairie Tournament, and then we go to the Ennis Tournament over um, well before Christmas, and then the Boswell Tournament over Christmas. David, what about the Colts? What, uh, uh, what's we'll the tournament in, schedule look we'll like? We'll be in the same tournaments we've been in the last couple of years. The Arlington Classic, uh, first weekend in December, is uh, going to be probably have their strongest field they've had in a number of years. Uh, we travel to the um, uh, Marauder Jaguar Classic in uh, Flower Mound, uh, which is always a good, a good tournament. And then we go to the Avery Inter Invitational in Plano, Plano High School. All right, let me ask both of you this. In tournament play, when you haven't seen a team, uh, and maybe they haven't been scouted like you would like for them to be scouted, how do you prepare for them when, when you're seeing a team for the first time, BJ? Um, you know, I think you, well, you try to get a glimpse of them if you're playing, you know, before them or after them in the tournament. But if you don't get that opportunity, you know, I just think you have to come out and, and get a feel for, you know, what they're going to do. It's kind of, I say, fly by your seat, I guess. You know, tell the kids you, to expect anything, you know, man zone. You go out and you, you just play your game, and you have to adjust to what they throw at you. David, what about yourself? Because you'll know early how well your guys have practiced in preparation for anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, ideally that's what you would try to do is, is have your kids prepared as much as you could for any, any, uh, any type of defense or offense that you see. Um, it's always helpful to have a little bit of a uh, prior knowledge of what the other team is going to be. But... You've hoped you've uh, prepared your kids well enough to, uh, you know, to be able to deal with just about anything that comes down the pike. How do you see the district this year? I think it'll be a pretty balanced district, actually. Um, I'm hoping that uh, some of the good North Crowley kids won't be back. Uh, I know they graduated several seniors. Um, you know, you have, you have the traditional powers like Bowie and Martin and uh, Lamar, I think, will be good uh, this year. Um, and then, and then the teams that are outside of our school district are always a little difficult to, to scout. Uh, uh, Pascal Weatherford, you don't always know as much as you'd like to about them. But uh, uh, overall, I think top to bottom, it'll be a very competitive, competitive district. BJ, what about the girls' side? Um, I'm kind of with Coach Clyde. You always have your um, powerhouses, North Crowley, Martin, Bowie will always be up there. Lamar was really good last year. So I expect a lot of good things from the um, Arlington schools. And then kind of like Coach Clyde said, Weatherford and Pascal, it, you know, it's hard to see them before. So you hope, you know, that they come out there and we're a very competitive district. All right. Thanks to both of you. Good luck to the Colts. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank 
And we are with Bowie's Alan Gratz and Kelly Carruthers, Coach Gratz in year number 12, and Kelly in year number one. What a standard that Wanda Talton has set uh, at Bowie. 27 wins last year. What a great season it was. Your expectations uh, heading into this fall? We're, we have a lot of kids coming back, so um, we have a lot of experience, a lot of seasoned players, so we're just looking forward to getting the season off started and jumping right into it. Let me ask you the carryover effect, uh, Kelly, from last year's playoff round. Okay. Uh, how well did uh, you see that sit with the juniors that are now seniors? Uh, we have six seniors, and um, that didn't sit really well with them. So uh, this year we're kind of defining our roles, accepting our roles, and, and just going to understand them and play up to our roles. Allen, 23 wins last year. Christopher Jones is gone. Uh, what do you have coming back? Well, last year we had, had 25 wins. Um, we are, it's going to be different for us this year. We, um, last two years, over two years, we've won 55 games, so we've had a really good run. Last year I graduated nine seniors. I didn't have any juniors on varsity, so I had a freshman and two sophomores. So um, a lot of people say you rebuild, but I don't really think we're rebuilding. But it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a different year for us. I didn't really mean is. to shortchange you with the 23 <laughs> wins. Uh, oh, Malcolm Hughes, uh, what do you expect out of him this year? Yeah, Malcolm, I expect he's probably going to be our leading rebounder. He's one of the few returners that I have because I've only got. Like I said, I've only got three returners coming back, and he played quite a bit as a sophomore between him and uh, Jeremy Singlin, and I expect probably more out of Jeremy Singlin this year than, than anybody else. Kelly, what about the backcourt? Uh, what do you see in the short time that you've had uh, to be with the girls? Well, we're just going to we're gonna be a running team this year. we got to play both ends of the floor. we got to play offense and defense, 94 feet, so that's what we're going to try to do this year. How does your non-district schedule look like, and what uh, tournaments will we be playing in this year? Uh, we'll be in the Ennis Tournament, Colleyville Heritage, and Mansfield Rotary. So we have some pretty high competitive teams that we're going to be playing. What about the district race? Should be, another, uh, should be another battle, as it always is. Yes, it will be. It will be. We're battling for first, of course. Alan, what about your uh, tournament schedule? Um, we're going to Houston. We're playing an Outback Tournament. Uh, matter of fact, we're playing... Uh, probably the number two team in the state uh, the second game. We play Fort Ben Bush, which would be, um, that would be a good tournament for us. We got the Arlington Classic again. Uh, we've won that two years straight. And we are also playing the Coca-Cola tournament in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll definitely be testing our tournaments this year. Kelly, uh, what was the spring like for you? What, what was your workout uh, schedule like? And what did you really want to have accomplished heading into uh, September? Uh, we conditioned a lot. We did a lot of uh, weight training. We did a lot of individual skills, just getting the girls ready to create own shot opportunities and just buckling down on some defense. You had a good inside game last year. You had some nice players inside. Yes, we did. Yes, we did, and they will all be back. Key to get off to a very good start? Yeah, we, we need, we, and that's something we need. We need to get off to a good start. Last year, we started off 0-3. We start off 0-3 to start the season, and then we go and we win the Coca-Cola tournament after going starting off 0-3. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been pretty pleased with the way we've started in the past couple of years. I just hope we get off to a better start this year than we did last year. Kelly, your girls know how important it is to get off to a good start. Definitely, definitely. Senior leadership take over at that point, or is it a, just a team, team game? I think for us it's more of a team uh, right now, just mm -hmm. because we have 14 returners, um, and they're all they're all experienced varsity players, so we're just we're just building together as a team, coming together as one. Well, good luck to Bowie this year in basketball. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Jeannie, back to you. Thanks, John. For conversations, I'm Jeannie Curtis. Thanks for watching.